There's a record number of Americans, nearly 30 million so far, are casting their votes for president early during the pandemic. And there are still two weeks left for people to submit their ballots early. Early voting began in six more states today. Voters in Alaska, Arkansas, Colorado, North Dakota, and Florida now heading to the polls. And, of course, a lot of eyes on Florida, the state with 29 electoral college votes up for grabs. Only two other states, in fact, have more. Florida has been a focus for both candidates, especially during the last few weeks. And that's where we find News Nation correspondent Brian Enton tonight. He joins us live from Miami with more. Brian. Rob, there is always so much attention on Florida because historically the elections here are just so close. Today was the first day for in person voting, and already several counties have broken records. Even in the rain, Florida voters were lined up Monday morning for the first day of in-person early voting. The line stretched all the way around the building at this Broward County voting location. It's done. It's over with. I know I voted and I'm in. So I don't have to worry about it. Just want to make sure that my voice count, my vo vote count. And then we're looking at the economy, the pandemic. It's just a lot of stuff. A similar scene in Tampa, where the line of voters wrapped around the parking lot. Some voters showed up before 5 a.m. to line up, even though polling locations didn't open until 7. What do you make of these long lines? They want to vote early. They, they, they want to vote now. They don't want to wait till election day. There's a lot of pent up uh, emotion, energy, excitement, fear. Dr. Charles Zeldin is a political science professor at South Florida's Nova Southeastern University. He says Floridians know their vote matters. It's always close in Florida. A blowout in Florida is a 1% gap. Our last statewide election, the governor's race was under half a percentage point difference. The Senate race was less than a quarter point difference. More than 2.5 million Floridians have already mailed in their ballots, according to the Florida Department of State. Traditionally, Republicans represent the majority of Florida's mail-in ballots, but this year it's the opposite. Most of the submitted mail-in ballots, over 1.2 million, are registered to Democrats. Just under 758,000 are registered to Republicans, and 494,000 identify as independents. Some Florida counties have drop box locations for mail-in ballots if people prefer to drop ballots off instead of putting them in the mail. Going into this presidential election year, knowing that we are facing a pandemic, what can we do to make voting as easy as possible? Polling locations required masks and social distancing, and at several of the South Florida locations, you could actually vote and get a COVID test in the same place. Live in Miami, Brian Enton, News Nation.